As the world watched today, one Texan had a unique perspective on the inaugurations of our past. KXAN's Wes Rappaport catches up with George H.W. Bush's White House photographer who shares intimate moments from previous ceremonies. His first inauguration was Jimmy Carter's. I was there taking photos just for myself. Who would have known years later that I would have gone on to work at the White House. Those years later, Texas native David Valdez served in Bush 41's administration, first while Bush was VP, then in the country's highest office, capturing moments on film shared with the world. My job put me in close proximity seven days a week, 15 hours a day for a decade. His memory of Bush's inaugural parade is somewhat flipped around. They just got to walk down the, the road. I actually did it walking backwards, taking pictures. <laughs> On that inauguration day, he captured this, a wave goodbye from outgoing First Lady Nancy Reagan to the new first couple. Later at a congressional luncheon, he saw Bush stand and framed him up with another George. 65,000 rolls later, at the end of Bush's term, he started his last day with this photo. He could wake up in the morning and hit the button in the White House Butler would bring him coffee and the next morning when they were in Houston, Texas. He woke up and he was reaching for the button and there was no button. And Mrs. Bush said, George, from now on, you have to make your own coffee. Valdez recalls new President Bill Clinton applauding for the outgoing commander in chief. After snapping this, he bolted to the helicopter for one last look. At this point, I was unemployed. Nowadays, you can find much of his White House work in College Station. The sign out front says, the uh, uh, George Bush Presidential Library, but I tell people if you squint and kind of turn your head, it says David Valdez Photo Gallery. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. And Valdez kept in touch with the Bush family, going on several trips as friends and to take photos throughout the post-White House years. He's also done some work on the campaign of Bush's grandson, Texas Land Commissioner George P. Bush.